the natural log of i. Okay guys, so let's find the value of the natural log of i. Awesome. So what the hell is this supposed to be? I mean, natural, I mean, any kind of a log is basically just a question to what power do we have to raise the base of the log, in this case the base is e, in order to get the number that we're taking the logarithm of, yeah? So if I'm taking, let's say, the log base A of B and this result is C, then I'm asking to what power do I have to raise A uh, in order to get B, and the result is C. So it means that when I raise A to the power of C, I'm gonna get a B, but, well, the problem is that if I have some kind of a number such as natural log of i is equal to that number, let's maybe call it d or something, then it would mean that e to the power of d is equal to i, which is the square root of negative 1? I mean, okay, let's, let's try and do it. Yeah, so, well, as you probably already guessed, we are going to move to the complex realm because, well, I is not even defining the real numbers yet, so we are going to the complex plane. So first of all, I would like to get some kind of a, I would like to find some kind of a way to rewrite I so that, well, maybe we'll be able to get the natural log of that thing, yeah, pretty, I mean, easier than of the I itself. So let's draw ourselves the complex plane, yeah? So A is gonna be my real axis, it's gonna be my imaginary, imaginary axis, I'm gonna, I'm gonna label them, it's gonna be the R, R, E axis, it's gonna be the I, M axis, the M imaginary, imaginary axis, yeah, lovely. And now, I would like to label myself, let's say this one and two, and also one and two on the imaginary axis, and I would like to select a point, some on this plane, this may be, get this point right over here, that's gonna be the point Z. And this is gonna be equal to A, as this real part, plus B multiplied by R, by I, where B is its, is its imaginary component, yeah? Awesome. And so now we can draw the line connecting the origin to our point Z and call the length of that line, let's say, something like R. And then also we can call the angle between this line connecting the origin and the point Z uh, and the real axis by theta. Yeah? And now, after kind of noticing that this distance, yeah, so the, so the distance from the real axis, from the real axis to the point Z is gonna be equal to B, yeah? So that's how many imaginary units we are going up above the real axis. And also this guy right there, this length from the imaginary axis to, well, a line going through Z is going to be equal to A, yeah? So this is our real part. Lovely, but now with some trigonometry magic, we can actually get the uh, oh man, the cosine of theta, I don't like trigonometry, is equal to A over R. Yeah, and so we can get that A, oh, uh, A is equal to R cosine of theta. I'm not good with trigonometry and technology, this is not a good mix for this video, yeah? And also you can get that the sine of theta is gonna be equal to B divided by R. And so by that we get that B is equal to R sine of theta. But it's awesome because now we can just use those identities to rewrite the entire the entire z just in terms of those sines and cosines. So what I'm gonna be left with is that z which is equal to a plus b times i will be equal to r cosine of theta plus r multiplied by the imaginary unit times the sine of theta. But now, kind of just factoring out the r from here, I'm gonna be left with z being equal, or z being equal, depends on where you live, uh, being equal to r multiplied by cosine of theta 
plus i sine of theta. However, by the Euler's formula, this stuff right there is equal to e to the power of i multiplied by theta. So, well, let's go on writing in by uh, using this definition. I'm going to actually be proving this in one of the future videos, but you know, stay tuned for this. This, this is too big for, for this video, yeah? So, z will be equal to r multiplied by e to the power of i times theta, where r is the length between z and the origin, and theta is the angle, is the angle right here, between the line connecting the origin and point z and the real axis. Yeah, awesome. And so, well, this is a nice thing because I can rewrite every single complex number I want in this way. So let's use this formula to write ourselves an alternative, an alternative for a form for i. So what i is gonna be equal to? What's gonna be the distance between i, which is right here on the imaginary axis, and the origin and the zero zero point. Well, that's gonna be just a one, yeah. So our r is gonna be equal to a one. So it's gonna be one multiplied by e to the power of i times, and now the angle theta between the line connecting the origin with the point i and the real axis. Well, actually, those two create a right angle right over here. And so that's going to be 90 degrees or in radians pi over 2 radians, yeah? So that's going to be e to the power of i multiplied by pi over 2 radians. Now we're taking the logarithm on both sides because we were, we were here after the logarithm, you know, in the first place. That's going to give us the natural log, the natural log of, well, 1 times anything is just that anything, natural log of e to the i multiplied by pi over 2, and so the natural log of i will just be equal to this natural log and this e are gonna cancel each other out, i multiplied by pi all over 2. So, well, once again, what did we do to arrive at this conclusion? Well, we first of all found an alternative, alternative form to express any kind of a complex number, and we just plugged i for into that formula in order to get the i is equal to e to the i times pi over 2 and then to the natural log of both sides. It probably was very complicated, but I think it was fun. And it's going to be useful. It's going to be definitely handy in future videos. So, yeah. It's going to be nice to just be able to say, oh, yeah, guys, just check the previous video on the natural log of i. So, it's nice to have it on some more channel. <laughs> some on the channel. Okay, so thank you guys for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, then subscribe and like, you know, subscribe not to miss out on any of the future content I'm going to be posting and like, so I'm happy. <laughs> and we'll see you in the next one. Bye.